Um, let's move on to something that I'm finding really interesting at the moment. When I um, discovered or I came across your name and uh, your your coaching, I discovered you on YouTube. You've started rec- fairly recently started a YouTube channel. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your motivation for doing that? So during lockdown, um, as everybody, I was confined to my house and my garden. And um, to kind of keep me mentally active and, and physically active as well, I created uh, a YouTube channel. Well, I started by making a few videos at home to, to help my players on my program to stay active and, and to keep them um, thinking about tennis so that when we were able to return, they were, they were ready for action. So I made a few kind of short videos for my Instagram page and, and got some nice feedback, started to make those videos slightly longer and a bit more detailed and then thought, why not set up a YouTube channel? Um, and then since then, yeah, so this was back in, in May, June time. Since then, we're now in start of October. Um, I've made about 60 videos. I've got just under a thousand subscribers now, which is fantastic. Really, really happy with that. So yeah, just, just to motivate people really and to motivate myself. And it just kept me busy during lockdown. Really enjoyed the, the challenge of kind of putting the videos together editing them. Um, and just, it, it was just a nice thing to, to be able to, to give to the people, you know, that were watching the video. So since returning to the tennis courts, I've again expanded, made the video slightly better, um, you know, doing some drills on the tennis court to actually help people when they get back onto court. And I do plan to try to make a, you know, about a video each week just to keep reinforcing some of the, the things that I teach on the tennis court in real life, but online. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've loved it and I'm going to continue. I mean, they are fantastic videos and I'll put a link to uh, the channel in the show notes for this episode. So uh, what's the feedback you've had so far? It, um, obviously, people are enjoying them because, they're, you know, they're watching and subscribing. I think your um, most viewed video has 13,000 views, which is fantastic. And as you say, you've just got under a thousand subscribers. Um, not just got, as in just under a thousand subscribers. <laughs> um, so what, what kind of feedback have you, have you got from it and what are people enjoying? So initially it, the feedback was coming from the members at the tennis club, but you know, the first day back I came in and, and people were kind of quoting some of the lines that I was saying in the videos. Um, and it, it became a bit of a talking point for the first couple of weeks and, and everybody was kind of thanking me for keeping them sane during, during the, the tough period that we all had. Um, so it was just really nice to have real people that I know enjoying the content and getting stuff from it. Um, and then since then, as the, the channel's grown, I've had lots of strangers that I've never met before commenting and, and sending me emails and, and kind of, yeah, just being appreciative um, of my time, which is really nice. It, you know, I didn't, um, I didn't do it to, to get, you know loads of feedback at the start it was just a case of me keeping myself busy but it's kind of become this little beast really where it's 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 kind of gaining a bit of traction um so yeah feedback's been brilliant and everyone's kind of asking for more so i'm gonna keep going do you have any plans for where you're going to take it in the future i think um i think realistically if we were to have another lockdown or if if there were a situation where I got injured and I wasn't able to to work physically on the tennis court if I've got a library of this content there may be scope to kind of put together more detailed courses so if you were a complete beginner um, and you've never picked up a tennis racket before I'd like to be able to produce some content which can take you from being a beginner to being able to enjoy a tennis match with your friends. Or if you were an intermediate player club, let's say club level team player, there may be uh, a a detailed online course, which can take you from being in your, your men's or ladies third team up to your second and first team and getting you to progress. Uh, Or then potentially if you were a performance junior player, a course to help you to develop your mental skills or a course to help you to become more match fit and that sort of thing. So, I think at the moment I'm kind of thinking of, of topics randomly. It might be one video on the grip on your serve, or it might be a video on footwork on your backhand, for example. But 
actually longer term, if, if I had a bit more time to put towards it, there could be a more substantial chunk of, of content for, for, you know, a course as such. Yeah. So that's me kind of thinking ahead if, if I were in a position where I couldn't be on court so much. Okay. And you mentioned uh, the possibility of going into lockdown again. I mean, who knows what's going to happen right now? Um, I think, you know, part of the UK is uh, locked down. Certain cities and certain regions of the UK have gone through like a local lockdown. So, you know, I don't want to be the harbinger of, or, you know, wanting to sound negative about it, but it's a possibility that, you know, we, we could, sport could stop again. So what would you do differently uh, if we went into lockdown again for your clients and the people watching your channel to keep them entertained and motivated? Good question. So um, the videos that I made were all kind of me with my camera, uh, nobody around, nobody to see me make mistakes. Um, so, you know, at the start, if you watch my first YouTube videos, you probably see me being slightly more nervous and, um, you know, not so confident on camera. And slowly I just, through practice and taking myself out of my comfort zone, I became more and more comfortable. So at the stage, I wasn't really comfortable with doing a, a live Zoom lesson, for example. I'm, you know, it's funny, I'm super confident on a tennis court with a tennis racket in my hand with a, you know, I could have a group of 30 adults and be fine or a group of 30 coaches and be tutoring and, and be okay. But the, the, it's just odd, a diff, it's just a different setting. So now that I feel a bit better in front of the camera, I think I'd probably do more live um, live trainings. So to get have that line of players directly, there's nothing better than that. And that's what I that I that's something that I missed during lockdown was the fact that I was delivering content, but it, I wasn't getting, you know, seeing smiles on faces and seeing them, you know, with that light bulb moment going aha when they they've learned something. So I think I'd probably if I were to do it again, um, I'd run more live sessions. Um, and have people at the other end of the of the computer, if that makes sense. But it it takes time to get uh, used to being in front of a camera, doesn't it? So, you know, a, a, along as we're starting this podcast, I've done a, a couple of YouTube videos, kind of sectioning up the uh, the podcast episodes and, and putting it on YouTube. I've started doing um, a kind of an intro and outro to each of the videos, and you know, <laughs> it's just me in a room with. My phone, actually, that's what I phone. That's what I film it, film it on, and I just keeping it up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, tell me about it. No, it's it's funny. So even even when I'm filming at the club on the tennis courts, um, I've lo I'm lucky enough to have a ball machine. I've got a slinger bag, so um, you know that can't hear my mistakes. So I'll, I'll book a court at a time where it's it's quiet. There's nobody around. Um, put the camera on. Make a load of mistakes. Uh, delete them. Redo them. But um, it's getting smoother and, you know, I'm hoping that if I keep doing it, it will become a lot quicker. You know, the process will become a lot smoother, but it's just, it's, it's just new. And I think lots of people are getting used to having to adapt the way that they work. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a really interesting medium. So I, I wish you all the best with it. It's uh, um, the videos are, uh, you put up at the moment are fantastic and uh, I'd urge anybody to, to watch them. So, and, and okay. you know, I'm, I'm not, I played tennis really badly as a kid and I'm not obviously don't really know much about the sport and I can still get some of the, you know, I still get value from, from the stuff you put out there. So that's great.